Cascade is a game where you fly around this infinite landscape, effectively from brain cell to brain cell, fighting this malevolent force which is destroying everything in its path, and that force happens to be Alzheimer's disease. Jodie was explaining the amyloid cascade hypothesis to me in kind of layman's terms, I guess. And being a, a programmer, each of the systems that he started uh, describing to me were sitting in my mind as um, objects from uh, object-oriented programming. And the, the more that he would tell me about these, these aspects of the biochemistry involved in what was going on in Alzheimer's disease, the more I could see each of those individual elements would break down um, into a game component. And originally, when we were talking about it, we, we kind of felt that it was very much like a, a tower defence game set on a brain cell. Cascade represents a brain under attack. So it's stepping into the brain of somebody who has Alzheimer's disease and trying to stop the production of this very toxic protein called beta amyloid. The main aim of the, of the game really is to try and keep those neurons, those brain cells, healthy and you can move from neuron to neuron. The idea is that it's a really immersive experience. So you can step in and you can look around at the different neurons, you can move from one to the other and you can keep those, those cells healthy. The science is the narrative here and the science is also the environment and the processes that take place in that environment. And my involvement is to make that fun, is to make that an enjoyable experience. It feels like an intergalactic sort of game. You've got these sort of spaceships, you've got these, these, these neurons which lend themselves to planets and the idea is that the player will step in, play the game, enjoy the game, the user base will grow and later on, at the, some of the later stages of the game, they'll, it will start to dawn upon them what it actually is they're playing and that this is uh, a brain under attack from, from Alzheimer's disease. The game will, will mirror some of the actual therapeutic intervention strategies that are being targeted at this disease. So not only will they be able to see what's actually happening inside an Alzheimer's disease sufferer's brain, but they'll be able to see what some of those therapeutic strategies are. It's the same as most games, you know, you're generally fighting something. We might as well make it so that you're fighting something very real. Through that process uh, of engagement with it, you can understand more about the science, but also have an engaging and uh, fun interactive experience. I think it's so important that institutions like the Wellcome Trust bring the expertise, the data, the raw materials, the desire to engage in new forms. You know, the fact is 100% um, of young people are playing games. It is their absolute chosen activity of, in their leisure time over television. Uh, we have more than one in three people in this country playing games on a regular basis. Games are here to stay, it's not a frivolity, and I think the Wellcome Trust understanding that is incredibly important um, to really put games at the centre of, of our culture, just as films and, and, and books and TV programmes are. <laughs>